Alright everyone, it is Finn here and welcome back to a brand new video where today we'll be making a combined 5 aside team out of every single Euro 2024 group. That's right, we'll be looking at each of the 6 groups, taking the best players out of those groups, I've got no idea what this hand movement is, and combining them into one team and seeing at the end of the video ultimately which group makes the best combined team. I have set one rule for this video and it is that I have to select at least one player from every single nation to keep things interesting, otherwise we could look at group a for example and i could only select german players but that wouldn't be a very interesting video to watch boring and i would also like to say that i have stolen this video idea from Hello. isaac he did it with combined 11 teams from players going to the euros which ultimately i guess i'm doing five aside and he did combined 11 so it's slightly different so i guess it's not really stealing i'm sure he's fine with it Son of a bitch. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. If you guys would like to check out this video, look in the description down below. But jumping into group A, we've got Germany, Switzerland, Hungary, and Scotland. This is a group with a lot of talent, and I could really play around here. But in terms of a goalkeeper, I am going to use my Switzerland pick with Kobel. He is a goalkeeper who's just reached the Champions League final with Borussia Dortmund. And if I had to use my Switzerland pick absolutely anywhere, it probably should be here. Yes, you've got a lot of other talents with Neuer and Tostegen, but as I said, I need to use my Switzerland pick. In terms of defense, maybe I could have put the likes of a Kanji here. Obviously, there are five players in a five-a-side team. Sometimes my genius is... It's almost frightening. And there are four nations per group, so I can use every single nation once and then replicate any nation of my choosing. But in terms of defense, I have to go for Andy Robertson. I am using my Scotland pick. I mean, he just screams five-a-side player. And in terms of defensive and attacking ability, you can't really ask for a more complete defender, in my opinion. I still think he is heavily underrated. In terms of my midfield, yes, I could replicate Scotland and put Scott McTominay here, who was brilliant throughout qualifiers. But I'm going to use my German pick with Joshua Kimmich and my Hungarian pick with the likes of Shabaslai. In terms of Shabaslai, in terms of my attacking ability, he really fulfills that role. In terms of defensive, once again, Joshua Kimmich, he could even fall back to the defense itself. A very, very complete player, and I don't think you could really get a more balanced midfield in my opinion. Although I'm sure you could put someone like Florian Wurtier, who I would have loved to put in this team, but up front, I am going to use my other German pick, and you could go for the likes of Fulkrich, who's been brilliant for Dortmund, you could put Gnabry, but I'm going to put the likes of Leroy Sane. They do this every year. Another player who's been brilliant throughout the season, and I think in terms of a five-a-side player, he would do tremendously well. Now, before we do Group B, I've been sent five kits by Goal Kicks. So let's create a combined five-a-side team with them. First up, we've got the Portuguese away jersey, which is absolutely beautiful, and I'm going to go for Diogo Costa as my goalkeeper. I mean, if you want to be like him, you could save tremendously here if you use code FIN with the link down below to get 10% off. In terms of defense, I am going to use my Netherlands pick here, and once again, Virgil Van Dijk is still at such an elite level. In terms of the midfield, I'm going for Kevin De Bruyne from Belgium. I mean, in terms of delivery, the only thing that compares to it has to be goal kits. I mean, it took me two to three weeks to get this. And partnering Kevin De Bruyne, I'm going to go for Florian Wirtz. I obviously got his name at the back. I mean, I know he's not normally number 10 for Germany. He's 17. But I kind of wanted to remember his season for Leverkusen as he was so good. And finally, I have saved my England kit as it has to be Harry Kane up front. Let's go! Now that's a pretty decent five-a-side team. Obviously, make sure to check out Gold Kits in the description down below. As I said, use my code to get a 10% discount. Next up, we've got Group B, and this is the group of death. I mean, we've got Spain, Croatia, Italy, and Albania. In terms of my goalkeeper, I'm going for Donnarumma. I know you could go for Vicario. He's been brilliant for Tottenham Hotspurs this season. But to me, you still can't underestimate Donnarumma. He is still a top goalkeeper. You can't forget his importance at Euro 2020. And I'm going for him. In terms of my defender, this is where I have to use my Albanian pick. I could have picked the likes of Hisaj, who's obviously a legend for the Albanian national team. But I've gone for Jim City, who I'd argue has been maybe the best Albanian in Europe this season. I think he's been brilliant for Atalanta. I think he's been very underrated he's a very strong physical presence and as i said i have to use my albanian pick in terms of my midfield i've gone for two midfielders once again with the likes of rodri from spain once again arguably maybe the best holding midfielder in world football and you have to choose him the fact that he still hasn't lost for man city yet surely if i put him in this team he can't lose either god damn it Trump. You're a goddamn genius. Especially if I put him next to the likes of a Ballon d'Or winner with Luka Modric. Once again, that is my Croatian pick. And finally up front, I've got another Italian with Chiesa. 
I think out of all the maybe attacking options I have left, he's the most kind of five-a-side player. I think he's brilliant in attack. And I don't know if I've missed anyone here. Let me know down below. Group C is next, and it's a rather interesting group because we have Slovenia, England, Denmark, and Serbia. And I mean, the goalkeeper is the easiest option here, as it has to be Jan Oblak. For many years, he was considered the best goalkeeper in Europe. And I mean, I can't really see anywhere else where I'm going to use my Slovenian pick. So it has to be him. In terms of defence, I was very tempted to try squeeze someone like Carl Walk in here. Please don't try that again because I don't want to be a meme or anything. I think he would be super good or John Stones, but I am going to use my Denmark pick with Joachim Andersen. Brilliant for Crystal Palace as a Manchester United fan. I don't want to talk about Palace too much, but ultimately, once again, very solid option. And I could see him make a top six Premier League move very, very soon. In terms of my midfield, once again, two midfield system with the likes of Jude Bellingham, a real Ballon d'Or contender, if you ask me. I mean, if England go far in the Euros and if Real Madrid end up winning the Champions League, he could lift the Ballon d'Or come the end of the year. And next to him, I am going for my Serbian pick with the likes of Dusan Tadic. Once again, he was phenomenal two, three years ago for Ajax for many, many years. He was very solid and he really was the driving force for the Serbian team for so long. And in terms of my striker, yes, I could have gone for the likes of Blahovic, but it has to be, once again, Harry Kane. Group D is next and this might be our most talentful group yet because we've got Poland, France, Austria and Netherlands. In terms of a goalkeeper though, this is where I'm going to use my Polish pick with the likes of Szczesny. I think over the years, he might go down as one of the most underrated goalkeepers in European history. I mean, his time at Juventus and for the Polish national team really just doesn't get the credit it deserves. And I think on his day, phenomenal, so underrated. In terms of a defender, I'm going for the big boss, Virgil van Dijk. I mean, once again, for many, many years, considered the best centre-back in the world. I think to many, he probably still is considered the best centre-back in the world. And for this five-a-side team, would be perfect. In terms of my two midfielders, I've gone for Sabitzer as my Austrian pick. I do think he is the best Austrian footballer out there. Once again, another player in that final of the Champions League coming up with Borussia Dortmund. You can't miss out on him. And in terms of the other midfielder, yes, I know I could go for a Frenchman here. Or am I going to go for Frankie de Jong? I think I might have to go for Frankie de Jong here. I think technically one of the best midfielders in the world, but I could argue you trying to fit someone French in here. And finally up front, I have took, uh, taken my French pick with the likes of Kylian Mbappe. So I prefer really not to, um, not to speak. Once again, on his day, might be the best footballer in the world. We'll see whether he signs for Real Madrid in the upcoming months. It does seem so. But in terms of a Frenchman, he was always going to be in here. Which, once again, no Lewandowski. It was a tricky group. Group B is next with the likes of Belgium, Romania, Slovakia, and Ukraine. Once again, a very interesting group in terms of the nations there. But as a goalkeeper, I know he won't be going to the Euros. But I've chosen Thibaut Courtois, who on his day, best goalkeeper in the world. But if I wasn't to choose injured players in these squads, it might still end up being Castiles, who is another very solid Belgium goalkeeper. Why? Doesn't anyone love me? But once again, as you know, Courtois, you can't doubt him on his day. In terms of defenders, it is going to be my Slovakian pick and my Romanian pick with the likes of Skriniar and Dragosin. Obviously, Dragosin's been really top quality when he's been fit to play for Tottenham Hotspurs, is the best Romanian player out there. And looking at the likes of Skriniar, once again, in terms of Slovakians, there's really no one who really argues to get in this team ahead of him. In terms of my midfield, obviously, I was going to pick my Belgian pick on the likes of Kevin De Bruyne, although I was very tempted to kind of save it to put Trozard up front because I think he's a very typical five-a-side player. But once again, in terms of creativity, you do always need Kevin De Bruyne. Let me talk! And finally, we've got my Ukrainian pick with the likes of Do uh, Dovbik, who's been really top quality for Girona in La Liga this season. He is the top goal scorer in the league. And once again, I'm surprised that people aren't really talking about him. And finally, we've got Group F with the likes of Czech, Georgia, Turkey, and Portugal. Now, you could make a really interesting squad here. Here, which I kind of struggled with to be honest but as a goalkeeper once again I've gone for Diogo Costa I'm still waiting for him to make a big move to a top five European team been brilliant for Porto for so so long and for this Portuguese national team and is a very solid option in terms of defense I was really trying to put Ruben Diaz in here but I've gone for Sufo I think he's been very under the radar this season seven assists in the Premier League can be a very hard defender to get past and he is going to be my check pick 
in terms of my midfield, I've gone for the likes of Shalanoglu. Brilliant set piece taker, all around midfielder. He is absolutely superb. He's just won another Italian league title. I know other people would put Ardugule in here though, but I still think Shalanoglu is so underrated. And next to him in the midfield, although you could put him slightly higher, I've gone for Cavacelia. Once again, as my Georgian pick, was I really going to choose someone else? And finally in the squad, I have got a Portuguese player. I know maybe some people would argue for Ronaldo in here, but as a five for side team, I'm going to put Rafael Liao. Although, once again, maybe you could put Jota in here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put Jota in this team. I think he would be perfect for a five-a-side team like this. Whether it be goals or assists, he can contribute. But that is it, ladies and gentlemen, for my best combined five-a-side team for every single Euro group. Let me know which group you think is the best, which kind of teams you would adjust. And of course, as I said, don't forget to check out gold kits in the description down below. I will put a link. And don't forget to use my code if you want to get kits ahead of the Euros. They don't just do countries, they do clubs as well. So make sure you get yourself a kit. But ladies and gentlemen, this has been Finn FYNN. Cheers. Bye.